Hey y'all, coming to you from the uh, Street Rods National South 2012, and I know y'all, uh, I know y'all like the rat rods, and I've got one I think is pretty cool. I think y'all are gonna like it. Jody, how are you, brother? I'm doing good. Good. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Well, this is a 1942 Ford truck that I took the original body off of and made a brand new locomotive style body for it. Cool. Have you always been into trains? Well, not really. I came up with this concept about 25 years ago when I drew it out on a piece of paper. And it's just been sitting on the shelf waiting to get built. Right. How long has it been done? I built it about a year and a half ago. Cool. I had it up here at the show last year. Right. Tell me, uh, tell me what, I mean, obviously it's got a, it looks like a, a locomotive in the front. And it's got a spittoon there, I guess, for the, uh, for the top and train bars. But tell me, uh, tell me some other features about the car. Well, I've got a, like I said, 42 Ford truck frame underneath. And it's running a uh, 90 mile Corvette 350 automatic. Front and rear suspension came from a 64 or four three quarter ton. I put on ton wheels to give it a button look. Right. The hardest part about it was finding all the train actual accessories for it, like the uh, bed rails are made from the train spike pullers. Oh yeah, how cool is that? And then you use the, uh, the spikes, to, the hold spikes to hold it up. Wow. The spikes on the door handles. Wow, how cool is that? And then the actual spike driving hammers I use for rear bumpers. Man, that's very creative, brother. The two red tail lights are actually uh, caboose lanterns, right? Converted to power, right? So they're not they're they're just like a tail light now. Yeah, they, tail okay. light now. They don't, cool. they don't burn gas, gas or whatever. whatever. Yeah, yeah. What about the rivets? Is that is that the way it was or did no? You, yeah. The whole body is hand built. There's over 500 of the rivets put in. Wow. All the body is brand new, and I distressed it and uh, painted it to where it would look like it's rusty. Have you always been into rat rods? No, I no. used to build street rods, and I've always had a car that I brought put right here on this spot every year. Man, that I is... figured with the rat rod craze and the, the actual uh, train concept, I figured I'd go ahead and build it for two years ago, and I started on it and got it done. Everybody seems to love it. No, I love it. Like I say, yeah, I caught you coming in, and when I saw you pass me, I was like, that's one I surely want to shoot. That's cool, because I'm, I'm with you. A lot of uh, people really like the rat rod stuff. And then you put the uh, crossing signs on the doors. Oh, wow, how cool is that? Yeah. Oh, it's got a train horn. Is that really train a train horn? horn? Fully functional. How cool is that? It gets their attention. I would think, yeah, if the, if the uh, cow catcher on the front doesn't get their attention, that surely will. And then you can ring the bell, too, I see. Oh, yeah, from inside, I'll ring that side. That is just way cool, brother. And what are them front lights off of? The headlights are actually from a train come out of New York City. From early New York City? <laughs> from early 1900s, what the guy was telling me. No kidding. So what did you go to? Did you go to swap meets and all and collect all this stuff up? Most of the actual parts of the train came from off eBay. Oh, no kidding. That is so Thank cool. Thank goodness for the internet, right? Yeah. Yeah. This actual piece here, which I don't know what it is, but I got it from this swap meet two years ago. Right. Show. Is it off a train? I don't have yeah, any idea. Yeah, no. Just kind of looks like yeah. it might have been on a train. The old uh, steam engine locomotives, they have those things on top. Right, right. Man. And then these little lanterns here. Those are actually toy lanterns for for kids. Oh, wow. And I converted it over to electric for the car. Wow. How cool is that? And what the shroud for the fan, what's that? Some sort of 60 model Chevrolet is what the guy was telling me. Kind of looks like some kind of a farm barrel or something, right. you know, one of them things they feed cows out of, a piece of that. Huh. That is just cool, my friend. I got the uh, exhaust pipe off eBay. The guy, I emailed him, I said, how bad are you rusted? He said, oh, they're not that bad. I said, well, then I, I emailed him back and said, I can't use them. I need some rusted ones. He emailed me back and said, they're pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, then I need them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Six driver uh, Mustang. Six, six yeah, Mustang. they sure are. I recognize those. Wow. The whole body from the hood back was uh, custom made. The hood is actually 155, 150 diesel uh, gallon diesel drum. Oh, okay. Brother, that is just way cool, man. Very nice job. I like how you incorporated the whole theme in it. Anything else you want to tell me before we go? Jody, brother, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you giving me a time telling me about your hot rod. No problem. Man, thanks so much. All right. Folks, there you go. Rat Rod from the uh, Street Rods National South 2012. Hope you all enjoyed it. See ya.